problem number six. So let's say we have y is equal to the square root of 1 plus cosine x. So here, we will uh, not uh, go ahead uh, directly to the derivative of uh, cosine x. No? So the first formula that you will apply here is actually the general power formula, which is the derivative of uh, u raised to n. And it is equal to n, u raised to n minus 1, then derivative of u with respect to x. Because at the first part, your u is 1 plus cosine uh, 1 plus cosine x. Okay? So, let me go ahead and uh, apply that uh, general power formula. y prime is equal to so 1 half 1 plus cosine x. Then, this will now become negative 1 half because 1 minus 1 half. So, that is negative 1 half. Then, derivative of 1 plus cosine x. So, at this point, we will now get the derivative of 1 plus cosine x and 1 plus cosine x the derivative of that. So, derivative of 1 is 0. Derivative of cosine is, of course, uh, as we all know, that is equal to negative sine x. Okay? So, if we will substitute this one with this one to our problem, then it will now become 1 half, 1 plus times the quantity, 1 plus cosine x raised to negative 1 half, then multiply negative sine x. Okay? So, let's do some uh, simplifications. Your negative sine x will be at the numerator, and then divided by 2 times the square root of 1 plus cosine x. That is our final answer. So problem number 7. So for our uh, problem number 7, let's say we have... Uh, f of x is equal to cosine of uh, x plus sine x. So, this would fall under the uh, derivative of cosine u. And that is equal to negative uh, sine u, then derivative of u with respect to x. So, so our u here is uh, x plus sine x, and the derivative of our u is, the derivative of x is 1, then derivative of sine x is plus cosine x. So if you will apply that to our problem, so f prime x will now be equal to, so first write negative sine u, negative sine of x plus uh, sine x. And then, multiply that with the derivative of uh, x plus sine x, 1 plus cosine x. Okay? So, f prime x is equal to the negative of 1 plus cosine x, then multiplied by sine of uh, x plus sine x. That's the final answer. Number 8. So, problem number 8, let's say we have y is equal to tangent x minus x. Now, again, you can pause the, you can pause the video, then uh, answer this first. Tapos, uh, after getting your final answer, then that's the time you would play the video to check your answer. Okay, so here we have the derivative of a sum, basically. So we have to get the derivative of uh, tangent first, the derivative of tangent, and then the derivative of uh, x. 
So the derivative of tangent is equal to uh, second square x, the derivative of tangent x, then the derivative of x is 1. So what is uh, second square x minus 1? That is uh, simply equal to uh, tangent square x. Okay? Tangent square x. So this is uh, this part. This part right here is part of what we call uh, trigonometric uh, identities. So we are done with our, we are done with the eight problems, and uh, I will uh, give you two more problems. We'll have ten examples. So problem number nine. Let's say we have y is equal to sine x over one plus cosine x okay sine x over 1 plus cosine x so here again we will not uh, apply the uh, direct formula for uh, derivative of sine and cosine but instead this is in quotient no so recall that the derivative of uh, u over v u over v Is equal to v u prime minus u v prime all over v squared. So to avoid confusion, what we need to do here is identify our u and our v. Your u is uh, sine x, and the uh, derivative of uh, sine x is cosine x. Your v is one plus cosine x. And the derivative of that, if v prime, so derivative of 1 is 0, and then the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So, and then of course, v squared is uh, simply 1 plus quantity 1 plus cosine uh, square x. Uh, 1 plus quantity 1 plus cosine square close quantity uh, squared, no? Or did I say it correct? <laughs> Again. Uh, quantity 1 plus cosine x plus quantity squared. Okay, so let's apply that. The things that we have solved here, we have now y prime is equal to, so v, our v is 1 plus cosine x, uh, and then u prime cosine x minus u, u is, uh, U is sine x, then derivative of uh, R V, V prime, so negative sine x, all over 1 plus cosine x squared. So let's try to simplify. So if I will uh, distribute cosine here, I will obtain cosine uh, x plus cosine square x plus multiply the two uh, sine negative times negative is positive so all over 1 plus cosine x squared then cosine square x cosine square x plus sine square x this is equal to 1 okay so in the numerator I would simply be left by 1 plus cosine x. In the denominator, I have 1 plus cosine x squared. So therefore, the numerator can be cancelled. And the final answer is simply 1 over 1 plus cosine x. So last problem, problem number 10, so let's say we have uh, g of t, g of t is equal to the square root of sine t over t, okay, so again, 
we will not apply the derivative of uh, any trigonometric function yet, but we will have to apply two formulas here. First is the derivative of uh, u raised to n, and then after that, next is uh, because our u here is uh, sine t over t, so therefore we have to apply the derivative of u over v. Okay? So let's go ahead and uh, you can pause again the problem. This is one of uh, the uh, more complicated uh, set in this uh, video. So pause it and then you continue. If you are confused, so you can continue. If not, you can go to the final answer and check your uh, answer. You know? So g prime t. So apply the power formula first. You have n as one half sine t over t so this is uh, negative one half that will be negative one half and then derivative of uh, sine t over t what is the derivative of sine t over t so that we will apply now the uh, we will apply the uh, derivative of u over v quotient rule so, 1 half, let me just copy this first, 1 half sine t over t raised to negative 1 half. So, the derivative of that, so I have uh, t, t first, i v, then derivative of sine is uh, cosine t minus sine t, derivative of t with respect to t is equal to 1, then all over t squared. Okay, so this is just a, a matter of uh, simplification. I have one half. This is negative, negative one half right here. So if I will make that positive, then I would have to uh, inverse sine t over t, and this will be t over sine t, the square root of t over sine t. And here, this will be equal to t cosine t minus sine t all over t squared. So the only thing that you can uh, basically combine here is uh, the square root of t, square root of t here, and t squared. So if you do the math, you uh, you will have t squared uh, square root of t over t squared and that would be so let's uh, segregate that here you have square root of t over t squared and that would be uh, two minus one half so that would be three halves negative three halves for that matter because uh, the numerator is uh, smaller one half. 1 half minus 2. Okay, so applying that to our problem, therefore part of the denominator is uh, t raised to 3 halves. Okay, and t raised to 3 halves is uh, actually the square root of uh, that would be equal to the this will is that would be equal to, but first uh, let me erase the border that I made there. That's a little bit uh, tight, no? So this will be equal to 1 over t raised to 3 halves. Okay? So in the numerator, what would be the uh, terms that would be in our numerator? So we have this one, t cosine t minus sine t. And in the denominator, we'll have uh, 2 times square root of t, square root of, uh, square root of sine t. And uh, we could include, we could actually include the, uh, we could actually include t raised to 3 halves there. Because uh, this is actually also the square root of t cubed. Okay? So, 
let uh, let's just write TQ first. So we have T cube times sine T. Okay. You can actually uh, you can actually go back and uh, apply. You can actually before we go to the final answer here, square root of uh, T cube can uh, do square root of uh, T squared times T. So therefore, in the denominator, you'll have 2t, then square root of sine t, okay? So in the denominator, you have t cosine t minus sine t. Now don't worry about, uh, don't worry about uh, rationalizing. No? This will, uh, I will accept this uh, final answer. So that's it for uh, no? that's it for uh, this set of uh, problem set for trigonometric functions. And uh, again, what you want to do is you need to memorize these uh, six basic trigonometric functions. Okay. So okay, I see something here. Let me let me correct this first. No? This should be second u uh, cosecant u for that matter okay so thank you for watching the video and uh, i hope that you learned something about the derivative of uh, trigonometric functions